As temperatures rise in May, heat waves roll up on the meadows. The wild yaks stroll into the open area to bask in the sunshine. Thanks to their dark brown coats, they're better able to absorb heat, preserve body temperature, and thus reduce hunger. About 1.5 million years ago, wild yaks' ancestors climbed onto the roof of the world. A larger rib cage evolved to help them deal with the low oxygen content of the air. Their sweat glands disappeared to reduce heat dissipation. Their spiny, shorter tongues allow them to feed more efficiently on ground cover plants. The wild yak is one of the best adapted creatures on the plateau. Despite the end of the winter, the freshwater wetlands around Chmuanai Lake are not completely unfrozen. A thirsty male wild yak arrives alone in search of thinner ice. On account of his weight, he walks forward carefully. Weighing in at over 800 kilograms, he's now able to put his bulk to good use. It's not hard for him to break a patch of ice and drink to his heart's content. But the water also attracts other, less placid animals. Fortunately, wolves don't usually mess with healthy adult wild yaks. Right now, what they're most interested in is quenching their thirst. But the wolf's appearance puts the yak on his guard. He cocks his tail in readiness. The lone yak has a violent temper. The wolf's behavior provokes it. He is ready to attack. He issues the ultimatum. Most of the time, the wolves, even in large numbers, dare not fight a wild yak. This wolf retreats in fear. Once again, the wild yak wins. Hands, or rather hooves, down. But while the harsh environment of the Qinghai Tibetan Plateau has failed to defeat the wild yak, they now face an unprecedented challenge to their survival. <laughs> 